Unquestionably, there's been a rise in violence in the northern part of Mexico over the last several years, frankly, a consequence of the fact that President Calderon has, quite rightly in my view, uh, stepped up enforcement against some of these organized criminal groups that previously ran basically unfettered in some of the northern communities. Now, they've pushed back, and they've adopted tactics and techniques that, frankly, are very similar to what we used to see in Baghdad and Afghanistan, car bombs, beheadings, torture, killing innocent people. And that simply added another element of danger to the northern part of Mexico. Many Mexicans will say, well, really, if you in the United States stop consuming as much, then there would be less demand, there would be less supply. Many in the United States said, if you stop supplying so much, there may be less demand. The fact is, it's a two-sided coin, and we have to work together. I think there's been a very important um, paradigmatic sea change in the U.S.-Mexico relationship over the past years. It started with the Bush administration, certainly, but it's deepened with the Obama administration, which is understanding that if we're going to tackle non-traditional, transnational security challenges like organized crime, we're going to have to do it under a paradigm of shared responsibility. By making it so much more difficult to cross the border, uh, we have broken what is, used to be called the circularity of migration, where people would come up, work for six months, go home for six months. Uh, now, it costs so much to get into the United States, paying smugglers to do that. It's dangerous. So somebody who comes is not going to risk going back home. As the uh, immigration problem has become more and more divisive and toxic in the United States, I think it's had a negative effect as well on the relationship between the United States and Mexico. I can't remember a time when uh, when the border between the United States and Mexico has been a more salient factor in the relationships between the two countries. It seems like Americans really see the entire uh, presence of Mexico now through the prism of that border.